Hi everyone, Run Credit reporting for duty. A little bit late today. Numbers got in a little bit late today. Not sure exactly why that took place, but it is September the 4th. It's Friday. We're going into the Labor Day weekend. It's my day 173. Stay safe at home, and I am doing so. Uh, I'm going to report the numbers for you today. And uh, before I even get started... Well, of course, I left the numbers at the other workstation. So anyway, here we go. Back with the numbers. Back in a flash. So I'll give you first the entire state of Florida. Then at the end of this little piece of video, I'll show you the county-by-county uh, numbers as well. Things are better today than they were yesterday. Somewhat better. Not totally better. We're still in the triple-digit numbers with deaths. 100 new deaths reported in the past 24 hours, but it's down from 147 from yesterday, so that's an improvement of 47. As far as the positives are concerned, 3,198. That's down from 3,571, or an improvement of 373. Unfortunately, our seven-day moving averages for the deaths has gone up to 111.57. Yesterday, it was 110. The day before that, it was 108. And the day before that, it was 112. So it down a little bit, and it's creeping back up again. Don't like that. We got one big number in there from last Tuesday, 190. And on uh, Saturday of last week, we had 143. And on Wednesday or Thursday of this week, we had 147. So those big numbers are going to keep this seven-day moving average up a little bit. Now, if tomorrow we get a lower number, that might be, well, that will definitely help drive the seven-day moving average back down again. I don't have a whole lot to report today other than the numbers for, for the uh, counties, other than uh, another little update on the uh, beach market. The beach market is now going to be closed until the second week in November, and they're reminding you that they provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner of pre-prepared food. You can go over. They have a service truck there to do that, a food truck, so to speak, and it's being prepared by their employees. This isn't some guy they drug dragged in from the outside in a food truck to throw something together. The, these are the people from the vill village beach market that are preparing this food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Go to Facebook and check them out because it'll give you the exact times, but uh, go ahead and stop by there. I just wanted to give you that information because if you were out of town and you're coming down for the holiday weekend and you plan to run down there and pick up something at the last minute, well, you might not be able to get it because the only thing they got going down there now is this pre-prepared food out of the food truck because they have a real kitchen and everything in there, pretty well stocked. But in addition to that, they do have a produce stand, and they have all sorts of great produce there. Uh, not as much as they had inside, but they have potatoes and lemons and onions and garlic and tomatoes and things like that. You're going to throw a salad together. I didn't see any lettuce there, but they may have some. So there are some things outside at the produce stand. Inside's got it. There is nothing left at that place if you haven't seen this before. It'll be back together the second week in November, getting ready for Thanksgiving. I mean, they got to get it up and running for Thanksgiving. That's a very big time for those folks. So that's the Village Beach Market here on A1A in Vero Beach. Got some more shout outs today to my best friends here, my new best friends that I don't even know. Heather Mason. Hi, Heather. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, I mean, she's just the best. She's always there. Marie Arnold. Thank you, Marie. Marie is a very faithful viewer. When I remember to send these things to her. Diana Stark, right down the hall from me. Yep, Diana Stark. She's being very obedient, staying safe at home. She's got like 18 projects going at her place. I can't believe how many piles of papers she has and all the things that she's working on. Then we, has, we have Elizabeth and George and Vanessa in Miami, Tony and Kevin and my Minnetonka folks up in Minnetonka, Minnesota, the Kennedys at Long Island and Vero Beach, and then Donna and Ray Mancari and uh, Captain Marsha. Hey, Captain Marsha. Captain Marsha is our guard, the best guard in the world down at the, uh, well, she's in charge of the guards. Yes, she is. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't tell Mike that. Uh, and then uh, Danny up in Jersey and Ron and Barb uh, Dumoulin. So these are many of our friends that live here in Victoria. Some of them do not live in Victoria, but they, most everybody I'm talking to here pretty much live close by Vero Beach. And don't forget to push the like button. Please do that. Remember about the distance spacing thing. I keep promising not to use the word. I'm not going to use the Brit word, but I am going to say it is a lot easier to wear a mask than it is to wear a ventilator. Please understand that. And Remember, holiday weekend here. This is not a time to take a holiday from uh, your all the stuff that you have been doing and working very diligently to uh, distance space and wear that mask. Don't take your masks off and don't stop. Don't let your guard down. 
because this guy, COVID, he's not going to take a holiday. He's going to be right there. He's going to be in your face. He does not take the day off. So please, please, please do not do that. Alrighty, folks, the weather report for the Treasure Coast today. It's the only reason I have these glasses on. This is a funny color. I can hardly read it. Lots of sunshine today. That's a really good thing. We're still working on our roof up here. 91 degrees today. Winds are east at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. That's today on Friday. And then tonight, we're going to have mainly clear skies, low about 78. The winds east-southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then tomorrow, Saturday, for you folks, if you want to go boating, it's going to be east to northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies in the morning will give way to cloudy skies during the afternoon. A little cooler tomorrow, a high of about 89 degrees, but it's gearing up for that uh, backyard barbecue with your family and don't invite the whole neighborhood in and remember to continue to distance space. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to jump right into the numbers and you'll take a look at them. As I said before, they're good numbers. They're good. They're better than they were. We're still in triple digit deaths, so that's not a good thing. Back in a flash. Alrighty, folks, as I say every day, back in a flash, and here we go, taking a look at the numbers today. Yes, the numbers are better than they were yesterday. So today is Friday. It is the 4th of September. These numbers came in about 12.30, so I'm running a little bit behind schedule today. And the numbers are a little bit better than yesterday. Taking a look at the total number of deaths in the past 24 hours for the entire state of Florida, it was 100 today. It was 147 yesterday, an improvement of 47. That's a good thing. And taking a look at the uh, positives for the past 24 hours, positives reported in the past 24 hours, 31 98 and yesterday it was 3571 that's an improvement of 373 good deal okay fine now we're going in the right direction all righty now let's take a look at dade county that's miami 32 new deaths reported in the past 24 hours 491 new positives in broward county fort lauderdale six new deaths to report and 246 new positives and then in palm beach county 10 new deaths to report and 119 new positives. In Orange County, no new deaths to report in the past 24 hours and 159 new positives. Brevard County, Melbourne, that is five new deaths to report and 68 new positives. In St. Lucie County, that's Fort Pierce, no new deaths to report and 41 new positives. Martin County, that's Stewart, one new death to report, no new positives. That's a good thing. Still a little concerned about the numbers that are coming in on Martin County. They are very, very low. That's really good. We like really low numbers, but historically they've been having much higher numbers. As you can see, look over here, uh, what, they, what they've been reporting here, let's say compared to Indian River County. And here in Indian River County, that's where I am. One new death to report in the past 24 hours, 13 new positives. In zip code 32960, there were four new positives. 32963, no new positives to report. All right, now we're going to slide over here and take a look at this uh, seven-day moving average. And seven-day moving average is now up, so it's going to be in red again today. Uh, it'll be 111 Point five seven. Yesterday it was 110.00. We have been down to 108.71. But you see what's going to happen across here. Here are the uh, the new uh, numbers that make up the seven-day moving average here on this line right here. And uh, today it was 100. Yesterday it was 147. It got 124 in there. This 190 number is, is a killer. That's going to be very tough for us because we're going to have to live with that for the next four days. And then 143 will drop off tomorrow. So that's a pretty big number as well. That is the third uh, highest number. So that one will drop off tomorrow. And hopefully if we get some lower numbers, then that'll bring our seven-day moving average for the deaths down. But right now, as of today, it was a 111.57. Now, if we want to take a look at that in terms of the moving averages on my chart that I have made here, you'll see that it's beginning to trend back up again. Here we go. Here is today. Today is September the 4th, and it's 111.57. As you can see, it's beginning to creep back up again. So, uh, not a good thing. We don't like to see that take place, but that's, uh, that's the way I have to report it. 
All righty, so the suggestion is this. You see what happens when I bring up the so-called worldview as to where we stand, and there's a lot of blanks here. If you look down through here, you'll see a lot of them have nothing in them. Well, at the time I'm doing this today, some of these haven't been reported yet, so I wasn't actually giving you the the, the right information. The, the, all the information was not there is what I'm really trying to say. So the suggestion is that if you're going to do the worldview, then do yes, always do the previous day for the worldview, then that will give you a pretty good estimate because then every all the numbers will be there. So in the overall situation with respect to the world, and we're talking about right now with new cases yesterday, United States is still at the top of the pack here uh, with uh, new cases of uh, 288,407. And uh, that was total new cases. USA had 44,000 yesterday in Brazil and India and Russia and Peru and so forth and so on. And then in, in terms of new deaths yesterday, uh, the U.S. had 1,000 o. 94, and then India, Brazil, Mexico, Colombia, Argentina. So we're still way up there at the very top of the pack. I mean, it's it's not not a good thing, not at all. So let me uh, let, let's go back now to. Alrighty, folks. So now I'm going to show you yesterday and how it uh, shapes up with re with respect to the total number of cases yesterday. California leading the pack, then Texas, then Florida. Florida is in number three, as usual. In terms of new cases yesterday, the new cases yesterday put California at top, Texas next, then Florida. Because uh, we, we had 3,571 yesterday, California had 4,581. Now, if we go to deaths, in terms of new deaths yesterday, Texas had the most, California second most, and Florida was third most with 152. Now, people always say, well, all right, tell me what's going on. We'd like to see what's happening up further up north so I can take you up to... Uh, Take, for example, Jersey only had nine yesterday, and New York only had seven new deaths yesterday. And if we take a look at new cases, you guys always seem to want to know about Jersey and New York. In terms of new cases yesterday, New York had uh, 985 new cases. All right, in New Jersey had nine new deaths yesterday, and uh, they had 346 new positives. So uh, there you go. That's kind of like the uh, worldview, but showing you, uh, showing it to you as of today is not a good idea because here, I'm, here I go with today. If I did it for today, you'll notice that there are a lot of blanks here and you're not really going to get a, a true picture. So if you would like me to continue to show you how we stack up with the rest of the states here in the United States, I have to give it to you as of yesterday and or we're going to have to wait until a uh, couple of hours later, and we don't want to do that. So we want to get the information up as quickly as possible. So uh, one more place to go, and that is to take a look at the uh, – this is the actual worldview of case, the number of cases and deaths. Taking a look at the United States, we're at 6,164,267. USA deaths, 187,052. Global cases, 26,398,466. And global deaths, 870,477. So those are the really big numbers at the global view. So that's where we are, folks, as of today for this be, would be uh, sep September the 4th. It is a Friday, and uh, that's what the numbers look like. I'm sorry to tell you that they, are, they aren't any better, but they certainly are better than yesterday. We're better than yesterday by 373 in terms of the number of cases for the entire state and by 47 in the number of deaths. We're down 47. We're down 373. So that'll get us into the weekend. Here we go into the Labor Day weekend. All I can tell you is you know what to do, but you, you got to be careful. You got to think about this now. You know, just because it's a holiday, it's a weekend, this uh, COVID-19 does not take a vacation. No, 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 it does not do so. So just remember that. You may want to take a little time off. You may want to do something a little bit different this weekend. But COVID-19, he isn't going to do that. So remember what I'm saying. Okay, back in a flash. Alrighty, folks, nothing to put in here at the end. I wish I had something very cute and interesting to say, something nice and creative. But the, as I say, the numbers got in late, and then that sort of bumps into my network program I have to do every day from 3 to 6. So I didn't have a chance to put anything together today 
especially for this event. So I will try to put something together for tomorrow that will leave you with something more positive than uh, just saying, well, here I am, and now I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you very much. Don't, don't forget to push the like button. Appreciate that. You do that. And I, I say every day at the same time, remember, don't be a part of the problem and always be a part of the solution. And please, please, please have a very, very blessed Friday. It's a great day out there. It's a terrific day. Pandemic's still here. It's not going to go away for the foreseeable future. It will eventually go away. I can assure you of that. It's not going to be around forever. But I was saying to some of my friends the other day, can you believe this? What would a, a year ago, if somebody would have said, everybody's going to be walking around with masks on Labor Day, we said, you must be kidding. Get out of here. Masks? That's not going to happen. Well, it is, and it is, and most people are doing so. I told you I was out yesterday running around doing stuff up at the AT&T store. I'm going to push my little butt, my little new friend, my little new girlfriend over there at uh, AT&T. Not really a girlfriend, but she's a girl and she's a friend, and this gal did a terrific job. AT&T's okay. I like AT&T. They're fine. But she went above and beyond the call of duty to take care of me and put together some stuff I needed to get done. And I got to tell you, you need a, anything from AT&T, go see Annie over at the AT&T store. It's up on North Federal Highway, Vero Beach. It's on the right-hand side, on the east side of the highway. It's in the Publix shopping center in there. It's that first little building you run into. And uh, go in there and tell Annie that Ron Kreider said hi. She'll probably by now have forgotten who I am. But nonetheless, I always like to say nice things to people who do nice things. Alrighty, folks, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great day.